so this is the revolutionary planet that changed the game. This is the revolutionary planet that made science lose their flipping mind. So why have we not taken another picture of it or Sedna since? I really want to know. I really want to see another photo. I don't know if you know this. Thor news is for winners. And that's why you're here. To stick around. We've got a video message. I'm going to have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Today we have a late night chit chat. Hashtag Ask NASA. WTF, why the fudge haven't we taken a picture of planet dwarf planet Eris in over 10 years? You may or may not remember Eris. Eris was named the 10th planet in our solar system. And then chaos and a schism broke out in all of science. They retracted the 10th planet status of Eris, and then they demoted Pluto. And all this happened between like 2004 and 2006. And if that wasn't weird enough, then they never really talked about Eris again. And they never, to my knowledge, took another public photo, public consumption, from the Hubble or anything else. Which is weird, because Eris is closer now to Earth than it was 10 years ago. So this is the revolutionary planet that changed the game. This is the revolutionary planet that made science lose their flipping mind. So why have we not taken another picture of it or Sedna since? I really want to know. I really want to see another photo. Do I still have some Thor power here? Can we ask this question enough times to where they like it and they want them to put the Hubble on it? And it's really weird because like this planet seems super fascinating. And at one time, Mike Brown, aka Pluto Killer, was pretty much insisting, oh, I guarantee you, Eris is much, 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 much bigger than Pluto. But he fell in line. And got kind of quiet on the subject. Didn't necessarily take back what he said. He just didn't talk about it again much. You know what I'm saying? So, this is all really weird. And still one of my favorite stories in all of astronomy is Eris and Sedna. And if you go to like NASA's JPL site, they have like 6,000 videos of Mars. None on Eris. If you go to just the NASA site, look for videos on Eris, they don't have any. The only people that have an Eris video is like the European Space Agency. And they're very, there's like two videos and there's just really not much. So I'm curious, why has the coolest story in this century, why has the coolest story in this century gotten no press? Of all the things the Hubble's taken a picture of, you would think in 10 years, it would be kind of cool to check back in on Eris because the photo we have now doesn't tell us much. So I just want to know, why? Haven't you guys taken a picture of Eris? Let's see what the universe today says. What is Eris? Eris is the largest dwarf planet in the solar system and the ninth largest body orbiting our sun, sometimes referred to as the 10th planet. And that was referred to by the IAU before someone bitch slapped them into their nonsenses. Its discovery is responsible for upsetting the traditional count of nine planets in our solar system, as well as leading the way to the creation of a whole new astronomical category. See how fascinating this thing is? So it's just really weird, man, really bizarre. And we haven't got any new photos located beyond the orbit of Pluto. This dwarf planet is both a trans-Neptunian object, TNO, which refers to any planetary object that orbits the sun at a greater distance than Neptune, or 30 astronomical units. And an astronomical unit is the distance of Earth to the sun. But the sun to Earth, because of the distance and the eccentricity of its orbit, it is also a member of the population of objects, mostly comets, known as scattered disk objects. The discovery of Eris was so important because it, it was a celestial body larger than Pluto, which forced astronomers to consider for the first time in history what the definition of a planet truly is. And it was so fascinating and amazing, they just decided, you know what, we'll never take a look at it again. So we can speculate endlessly? Discovery. Eris, which has the full title of 136199 Eris, was first observed in 2003 during a Palomar Observatory survey of the outer solar system by a team led by Mike Brown. That dude is a professor of planetary astronomy at California Institute of Technology. The discovery was confirmed in January 2005 after the team examined the pictures obtained from the survey in detail. All right, so... This caused them to define planets and then create a whole new planet classification. The actual size and mass of Eris has been the subject of debate, as official estimates have changed with time and subsequent viewing. What? In 2005, using images from the Hubble Space Telescope, the diameter of Eris was measured at 1,489 miles. 2007, a series of observations estimated at 1,616 miles. Okay, so, uh, that's, you know, that's like nine years ago. You'd think maybe if you took a new photo, since it's getting closer and it's coming in to its own perihelion, we, we get a better idea. The most recent observation took place in November 2010 when Eris was the subject of one of the most distant stellar occultations yet achieved from Earth. The team's findings were announced October 2011 that it had gotten smaller again, 1,000. 
445 miles. <sighs> so, and it's even got a moon, man. Dysnomia. So, why? Interesting fact. They won't take another picture of it. Why? Anyway. So, yeah, that's it. Hashtag Ask NASA. Why the hell haven't we taken a photo of this thing, man? It's fascinating. Sometimes I think you guys don't really want people interested. But what I know. <sighs> All right. All right. So, there you go. It's that simple. See that? That's pretty freaking fascinating, if you ask me. Wow. Maybe it turned Uranus on its side. Who knows? Anyway. So, yeah. If you like it and you want it, put the Hubble on it. Please. NASA. Mr. Jim Green. Amy Mainzer. Charles Bolden. Pretty please? Come on. All right. Thank you. God bless everyone. Have a great day. No news is coming at me, and he's gonna science that shit. If it's happening in a galaxy, then toys all over it. Hurricane, solar flares, planet X, how humanity's gonna destroy itself at each other's necks. Yeah, I don't know if you know this.